Hey everybody, Scott here for the Helix channel and the Digital Guitar Playground. Today it's all in the family. The original Helix, Podgo, HX Stomp. There's a, an HX Effects over here somewhere. But uh, today I'm answer, uh, answering some viewer mail. And the questions that I got were, do they all sound the same? Can you get the same exact sound from these three devices? So what I've done is I've created a preset that has six blocks because I want this to be fair to the HX stop that can only use six blocks at the moment. They still haven't updated to the eight blocks that they promised a while back, but you know, I'm going to let that slide. That's cool. I'm not in a hurry. Uh, and the pod go. So they're all on the same, all serial routing, just one straight line. And it's a, uh, blah, 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 you know, some overdrives and an amp model an IR, EQ, and a room reverb. Same one on, on all three, same exact settings, three snapshots. Clean, dirty, and uh, crunch. So I'm gonna play all three and we're gonna go Helix, Podgo, Stomp on the clean, Helix, Podgo, Stomp on the dirty, then Helix, Podgo, Stomp on the crunch. I'm gonna be running uh, left and right outputs into the Zoom H4n and then normalizing them to the exact same volume. Because, you know, whether they're all the same volume when the uh, volume knob is at noon, I don't know. That I don't know. And, and that's the only, you know, uh, factor that's possibly up for debate. And not that it really matters because I set all my presets relative to everything else. And as long as they're loud enough for me, it doesn't really matter what the setting on this is, which is the reason why I'm setting them, you know, I'm going to normalize them all at the same negative 6 dB. Cool. Shall we? All right, here we are over at the full-sized Helix. I'm just going to show you what's in the uh, the preset. It's got a Kinky Boost. It's got a Compulsive Drive, Cali Texas Channel 2, which is the Boogie Lone Star, uh, my custom IR, an EQ, and a Room Reverb. Now, you know, oops, yeah, hitting the camera tripod. Uh, three snapshots clean, dirty, and crunch. And the settings are identical on all three units. I'm going to uh, play you a clean, a dirty, and a crunch, starting with the Helix, then the Pod Go, then the Stomp. And then uh, we'll just go round in circles. So the clean on all three, the dirty on all three, the crunch on all three.
There you go, everybody. Check it out. All three. What do you think? I mean, I was messing around with it all morning long, and uh, I couldn't really tell any vast sonic differences. Um, I would have to, you know, do some very critical listening through studio monitors, blah, 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 which I'm not going to do. But I'm going to give you the option to do that. You know, check it out. They are all exactly the same. And uh, I learned a thing or two about the uh, PodGo as far as snapshots are concerned, which is super helpful that I will share with you in a later video. So I will see you soon, probably on Wednesday. So until then, rock on.